Right now in Denver and indeed across the nation, communities are mourning the loss of 17-year-old Jessica Hernandez, who was shot by Denver police on January 26th. Still experiencing trauma, youth, people of color, the LGBT community, and many others have held events from vigils to press conferences to marches to nonviolent direct actions to hold law enforcement accountable for her killing and other unarmed people of color who lost their lives in similar circumstances in recent months. Chief Robert White says his officers repeatedly told her to get out of the car before they opened fire. But a passenger in the car who spoke with KUSA in Denver says Hernandez lost control of the car only after she was shot and became unconscious. Cops walked up, they were on the side of her, and they shot the window, and they shot her. That's when she wrecked, and that's when the cop got hit. Of the years of non-indictment of Denver police officers here in the city, there's not been an indictment of a police officer since before I was born. All bullets traveled. Um, the, the bullet that was likely fatal um, pierced, was almost horizontal, pierced her left lung, uh, went through her heart, through her uh, left ventricle, exited her right atrium, went through her right lung, and uh, ultimately was lodged near her ribs. The local Federal Bureau of Investigation office at 8000 East 36th Avenue in Denver received a visit today from the online organizing group Presente.org, who along with local organizations delivered a petition there to call for an independent investigation into last month's shooting death of Denver teenager Jessica Hernandez. We call for this investigation in honor of Jesse's life, but we would do this for all of us because any of us could be DPD's next target. Branching seeds of resistance is disgusted by the pattern of violence inflicted on Jesse at the time of her death and after through vilifying media coverage and victim shaming. The delivery was followed by a community vigil where about 75 members of the Denver community paid tribute to the Denver teen while noting that she was one of three unarmed people of color to be killed by the Denver Police Department in the past several months. By making our intentions clear here, we're here for justice for Jesse, but we're also here to honor her and her life. The vigil began at the corner of Newport and 26th, near where Jessica Hernandez was killed, marched around the block of the location of the shooting, and ended at the exact location of the shooting, where a neighborhood memorial had been established since the day of the incident. Flowers, candles, poems, signs, and teddy bears were laid below a banner that read, Justice for Jessica Hernandez, rest in power. I promise you, Jess, I know you're here and I know you hear me. I promise we'll get justice. That wasn't right what they did. I can't even trust the cops. Like, what if I'm next? They're supposed to be here to serve and protect us, but no, they kill and hurt us and they destroy us. Citing origins in the Stonewall Riot, local queer, transgender, gender nonconforming, and two-spirit youth blocked the Pride Parade today, taking a moment to honor that history. For a lot of us, we know that Pride uh, began in 1969 as a response from trans community, um, from gender nonconforming folks. Um, Two-spirit people um, as a way to rise up against the police brutality that happens in our communities. We know that our community has faced in previous years, back in the day and still today, a lot of violence, um, whether it's sexual harassment, profiling, and murder. Several minutes into the parade, about 70 queer youth of color organized by the youth LGBTQ group bearing seeds of resistance, took over the streets of the parade route, chanting,
just a few minutes to reflect on and honor the lives that have been taken and forgotten. We are here to celebrate and honor the life of Jesse Hernandez, 17-year-old queer Latina murdered by DPD. During the takeover, the names of transgender women of color who had been murdered in the recent past were called out. We are here for Jesse, Jasmine, Ty Underwood, Penny Proud, Natasha De Jesus, Lamia Beard, Soraya, and Angie Zapata. We are here to remember the roots of our movement and the history of mine. I love Jesse so much. My heart is on Jesse until the whole world ends. Jesse, I love you so much. I I wish that Jesse can come back and everything to be like from my memories. I want her to be with the family wherever we go. Quiero y quiero que me ayude toda la comunidad, toda la comunidad que tiene hijos, que me ayuden, que me ayuden a que este crimen de mi hija no quede como todos han quedado. Porque hay muchos crímenes que ellos han tapado y han echado la culpa a los jóvenes. Y no es así.